Hello, uh, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and in this video that I've created for the new Boston I'm going to be talking about the PHP switch statement. Now you might have already looked at if and if else statements and with incorporating an else if uh, to do multiple checks but what if you've got a lot of numbers or a lot of strings to check or, or something you need to check in a long list um, for this we use the switch it's basically a better cleaner and faster way of uh, using an if else if uh, and then an else so the syntax for this is switch in here we need simply a variable um, reference so if up here we were to create number equals uh, let's say one uh, we need to switch this number and now we create a a block here which is going to have a lot of content inside of it um, we're basically evaluating this number and we don't evaluate inside here like I couldn't say number equals one for example I would evaluate inside here and we do this with the case keyword and we use case and then we say what we want it to equal to so case one I want to maybe echo one Let's just indent this slightly so we um, can see what we're doing. And then we end it with break and we end with a semicolon. So this is the basic structure. Let me just create another one so you can get an idea of what we're doing. Okay, so hopefully by now you've got an idea of the syntax. Uh, this is basically how it looks. Um, what is this program essentially doing? Now, let me just create, go down and create a case three, uh, and then we can just demonstrate what this might be useful for. So, um, oh, let's uh, tab over. So, what we've essentially done here is we've created a mini program to convert this number that's entered here into string data. So instead of writing if uh, number equals one, then echo one, else if uh, number equals two echo two else if number equals three echo three end it else and we can blah 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 and it just gets a lot more confusing this is a really easy way to view yep case one we echo one case two we echo two case three we echo three and this is basically what our um, number evaluates to so we could in fact uh, change this to string data this could be text here and uh, exactly the same here it could correspond to uh, string data here um, we'll look at an example of that in just a moment but for now my little mini program is going to convert the numbers the integers remember we're not using this as string this is a number in itself we're converting that to uh, the, uh, the corresponding text so now what we can do is um, just run the program let's press refresh and you can see that it's outputted one now if we change this number up here to two you can see that we're going to say case yes it does equal two therefore echo two so let's refresh that says two um, and the same with number three so let's just test that and that says three now what happens if we change this to something like four we don't have a case to handle this being equal to four so what happens um, you probably guessed nothing happens so we need some way of writing here what's going to happen if there's no case to handle um, the uh, input that we've spent the input that is coming into this uh, switch statement so we use the keyword default and we use a break as well um, but in here we can echo out uh, let's just pull that in a bit echo out let's say uh, number not found okay so um, by default let's for, say for example the number is four as we have it at the moment the default the default action would be to echo not not found uh, number not found so if we refresh it says number not found the same if, is if, as if we were to come up and change this to minus 10 for example it's going to do exactly the same thing and we maintain echoing out this number not found thing okay so there's a different way that we can structure this um, I'm just going to take out the default for now um, let's just get rid of everything in here as well and we're going to basically start with this completely different concept I'm gonna say day equals and uh, at the moment I'm gonna set this to say Monday 
Now, um, inside my switch statement, remember to change this as well. Inside my st switch statement, I basically want a little program that's going to tell me if this day is a weekend or if it's a weekday. So, um, or if, you know, I mean, if, if it is a weekend, um, we could say day equals uh, Alex and that would not be a weekend because there isn't a weekend day called Alex. So, to do this, I'm basically going to say case. And remember I said you could, we can deal with string data as well. Case, Saturday. And then underneath, in fact that says colon, not a semicolon. Underneath, I'm going to say case. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm not even breaking. I'm just saying case, 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 Sunday. Okay. Then I'm going to break. And in here, I'm going to write my output. So it's a weekend. Now an interesting point here, you can see that this bit's turned black, that's because I'm using a, um, a single quotation mark within single quotation marks, I'm going to use my backslash character to escape that. Now this uh, program is basically saying we're setting a day, at the moment it's Monday, if, if this variable here, remember we're switching it in here, if this equals if this equals Saturday or it equals Sunday, echoing it's a weekend. Um, otherwise, let's just pull that in a bit more. Echo not a weekend. So let's test this program. Monday should produce us with the result not a weekend. Let's refresh. Not a weekend. Now let's change this to Saturday. And we can refresh and you can see it's a weekend so this is a really really good way to compare multiple things at once and then give an output for that and then you can always use your default if um, data that's being read into this switch statement uh, can't be recognized as one of the cases so that's basically uh, switch statements in PHP